Hi ladies, in this video we are going to be talking about how to plan a wedding on a very, very tight budget. One of my pet peeves is seeing so many women spend so much money <laughs> on dresses, invitations, and things of that nature, especially if they're already on a very fixed income. And they splurge all of this money just for the wedding ceremony where you can still buy the same stuff and possibly even better for a cheaper price and you can use that extra money towards the marriage itself you know starting um getting a new home together and, and <laughs> building and planning financially for your new family it's better to put that money towards that now I'm not saying that you have to have a cheap looking wedding ceremony but you can have a cheap wedding and it could still be classy beautiful and glamorous. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. One of the most important items to focus on is the wedding dress and even the bridesmaid dresses. One of my pet peeves, I'll say another pet peeve, you might hear pet peeve a lot in this video, but one of my pet peeves is when a bride asks their bridesmaids to spend all of this money on a dress that they possibly won't wear again and if they possibly wear it again, is it gonna last? I had that to happen to me. <laughs> it was a beautiful dress and I spent over a hundred and something dollars for this dress, right? But when I was um, judging at an event, at a, um, at a pageant, I wore the dress and the dress got a run in the chiffon and I'm just like, <sighs> and I spent over a hundred something dollars for that. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about that because the dress that I'm going to show you, it cost less than $15, same kind of look and everything, and it's absolutely stunning and beautiful, under $15. Yes, you heard me. In fact, let's look at that dress right now before we even get to the wedding dress. As you can see here, this beautiful blue dress can be worn not only as a bridesmaid's dress, but can also be worn for other events. This dress will make your bridesmaids feel very sassy, yet classy at the same time. Because the dress is backless, I highly recommend that your bridesmaids either don't wear a bra but with padding in the front or a bra with a clear back. Now let's look at another bridesmaid dress that you can possibly have. And this one too I found for under $15. It is absolutely stunning and beautiful. And like the blue dress that we saw, this dress, you can also wear it again to other events. And if something kind of happens or something to it, at least you spent under $15 for it. It won't seem like you wasted $150-something for something that didn't last. All right? So let's take a look at that dress. This dress here is one of my favorites. The detailing in this dress is just awesome especially for under $15 as you can see here I would recommend though that you get um, your bridesmaids fitted for this dress just to make sure the girls stay inside if you know what I mean <laughs> but it does have a padded front already so your bridesmaids may not have to wear an additional bra because it has a built-in bra built-in padding within the dress but still make sure that they get fitted for this have time to to make some alterations if needed. Now, let's get to the wedding dress. I found this beautiful dress a few years ago. I found it for myself because I, 
you know, I really, really wanted to get married in those years. I found this dress because I, I wanted to buy a wedding dress early. And you know, I, I still had the mentality at that time to not blow money on something that you're only going to possibly wear one time. <laughs> but I found this beautiful dress and it cost less than $100. Yes, you heard me, less than $100. Let's take a look at this beauty. The detailing of this wedding dress makes it worth about $500 or more in my opinion. Every time I put this dress on, I feel like Cinderella. <laughs> it is just a stunning dress, especially for the price. The price is unbelievable for this dress. You will want to get a petticoat to go underneath it to really let it flare out because it's not going to look the same without that petticoat. The back has a beautiful train to it with some of the um, rhinestones, you know, fitted within the dress. It's just so pretty. I didn't show the whole, um, <laughs> the whole train because it's so wrinkled and it costs a lot of money to get these wedding dresses pressed, you know, by cleaners. But I wanted you to at least see what the dress looks like. Now for your hair, you can have your hair any kind of way. Now, if you're on a very tight budget, we know that wigs are the way to go. But knowing the bride and the groom, if they this is their first time, you know, getting to know each other after the wedding ceremony, we want to make sure that the bride has something that's attached to her head. So I would go the route of crochet braiding instead of a wig, at least for the bride. And I'm gonna put a link to one of the videos that I did in December on a hair tutorial um, with a crochet braiding look where you can um, blow out the hair. And I think recently, I just did another video that's similar to that one. I'll put both of the links in, in the info box anyhow, where I actually flat ironed the hair. And it's still stunning and beautiful and it could be crochet braided and it's still attached to the head. You didn't spend all this money to get hair weave and it still looks beautiful. So with the hair, you may not even need crochet braiding. Your hair may already be at a beautiful length and you can just go as far as maybe a nice neat bun or if you wanna wear your hair down, just get some hot rollers or some curlers or something to curl that hair up. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make your hair look beautiful. And there's a plethora of hair tutorials on YouTube that you can go and, and learn some simple ways of doing your hair and practice these steps ahead of time. Find some hairstyles that you like and see if you can do it or one of your bridesmaids, they may be really talented and gifted at doing hair. If you're not, you know, as sure about doing your own hair, have one of them to try some styles until you get the style that you really want for that big day. Makeup. Now, of course, we know that for your wedding ceremony, that's the time that you want your makeup to look the best. One thing that I say is this, if you normally wear makeup on an everyday basis, a few weeks or so before the wedding, I would cut back on your makeup just a little bit, you know. Um, the reason why I say cut back on it, I would go for a very natural everyday look because you want to save the pow for the wedding ceremony but if you always go pal every day it's just gonna seem like the same old you 
when you walk down that aisle, you want to appear different than you have looked in the previous days. It has to be something different, like a glow, a special glow. And I will also, to add some glow to your makeup look, I would do a bronzer, kind of like a gold mist bronzer. And I will put a link in the box below of, of something that I recommend that will give you a beautiful glow. All right. Now let's talk about the jewelry. For the jewelry for the wedding ceremony, all you have to do is go on eBay. I'm telling you, eBay is your best friend when it comes to things like that. Let's look back at the wedding dress scene that I showed you. And we're going to look at the bracelet that I had on. This beautiful bracelet cost me less than $10 on eBay. And the one that I got is the 10 row one because they have, you know, how many rows you can get. Let me show you right now on eBay what I'm talking about. See, those are the different sizes. But again, I have the 10 row one, which is about $565 in US dollars. Um, and you can see the price there. Um, these earrings are only 99 cents, approximately 77 cents in the US and free shipping. Now, all right, so you see there where I just found some nice jewelry on eBay for a very cheap price, but it looked like I spent a lot of money on this jewelry. Now let's talk about the invitations. If you are really on a tight budget, one of the things that I recommend is that you don't send a paper or hard copy of the invitation because Nine times out of ten, most people, when they get a wedding invitation, they look at it, oh, it's so nice or whatever, and then they end up throwing it away. The only people that really keep the wedding invitation are usually your parents, <laughs> your maybe even your siblings and very, very close friends. Other people, the rest of them, probably 80% 80, 80 of the people that you send an invitation to, it's, they're going to toss it. They're not going to keep it. So why blow all that money on a fancy wedding invitation when you can easily make a wedding invitation online and just email it and text it out and have people to RSVP just by replying to the email or to the text message and you save some money. One website that I recommend going to where you can do this for free is to go on pickmonkey.com. On there, you do not have to join PickMonkey.com only if you want extra features and things of that nature. But if you look on here, I'm going to show you how you can just create a very nice looking invitation for free without joining PickMonkey.com but still using their services. Let's check it out. When you get to the PicMonkey website, you want to click on where it says design. That's the third icon where you have the T. And then you just ch choose your font and then type in whatever you want the invitation to say. You can change the colors of the font as well. And you can choose a different background. I was kind of messing around figuring out what I wanted to choose for you guys. And I ended up to go and you save it on your computer. And then you can just send it to whomever. Now for a venue, where you want to have the wedding and where do you want to have the reception? Let's talk first about the wedding ceremony. Now for the wedding ceremony, if you are really, really tight with money and you don't know anyone that has, um, you know, access to a hall or something, or if they know someone that knows somebody that knows somebody else <laughs> that can get it for you for free, I would do it right in your home. And if your home is not big enough, I know you got at least one family member or one close friend that has a home that's big enough for you to have your wedding ceremony. And it does not, you don't have to invite everybody in town. Just invite your close family and your close friends to it. And it will be very intimate, very beautiful. All right. And you save some money. Another option is to possibly have it at a park. You can also have it at a beach. But with those, the outside type things, you just don't know what the weather is going to be like, you know, especially these days. <laughs> so what I would recommend is try to find some type of indoor venue because you don't want to ruin that wedding dress and you don't want to be antsy. You're already going to be anxious the day of your wedding ceremony. So take some anxiety out of the picture by just having an indoor venue for your wedding ceremony. Again, a home 
somebody's home or if somebody has you know connections where they can get a hall or a church for you for free all right now let's talk about the photographer if you don't know anyone that is very reasonably priced to be your photographer for your wedding you have a couple of options one option I say is go on Craigslist Craigslist they have a list of people it's, it's like a online classified ad that's really what it is so go on there and see if you can find someone that's local and then have them to do some test prints so you can get an idea if they're gonna give you the type of um, photography that you're looking for here's another option and I think it's pretty cool and it's pretty fun because I, when I was coming up with this video I say okay what if they don't really want to pay anybody per se to be a photographer well this is what you can do you can have a contest at your wedding and you can have these two baskets one for male and one for female and in this basket you can just put different goodies and make it look really cute or whatever get the stuff from the dollar store but you can put some nice stuff in the basket you know but you get to choose how much you spend on each basket now have the baskets at the wedding ceremony so people can see that this is a real contest and that there's a real prize for what they're going to be striving for what they're going to be battling for now this is the battle have all of your guests to be a part of this battle if they choose to just about everybody has a cell phone with a camera on them and a lot of these new phones these new smartphones have really really good cameras with very good quality all right so have people to take pictures at your wedding ceremony and even at the reception whoever has the best pictures at your wedding ceremony you and your husband you sit down and you choose which pictures that you like the most and whoever has the most of those pictures whichever male has the most and whichever female has the most pictures that you really really love and you would consider putting in a photo album then that person will be the winner now if you have a prize people are going to work hard to try to make sure that it's some good pictures and what you do you have your wedding planner or whoever is going to be your wedding planner if it's you <laughs> you can have those portions where you and your party, the, the, the wedding party, pose for pictures and just have everybody to take pictures, you know, that's going to be in this contest. Make it fun. And then that way you're not paying someone in particularly to be your photographer, but you're paying them through a basket. But more than likely, people love a good contest. So you're going to probably get some really, really good pictures that way. The pictures that you really like, all you have to do is print them out. You put them on your computer computer upload them on your computer and print them out or you can put them on a flash drive and maybe take them to Walmart to get your prints and there you go you got cheap photography the wedding cake the wedding cake can be another expensive item at a wedding now this is something that you can do with your bridesmaids you can make this a fun activity or activities if you don't get it right the first time <laughs> This is what you do. You and your bridesmaids, and hopefully your bridesmaids know how to cook, and hopefully you do too. <laughs> I'm quite make sure that you pick a bridal party that can kind of cook, okay? <laughs> if you're gonna do this, then I'm about to say. All right. Oh, that rhymes. Hey, I got bars. But anyways, <laughs> what you all do is you go on YouTube. You find some really, really good tutorials on how to make a wedding cake. There are videos out there because I looked before I did this video. <laughs> And it's some really good ones. So you go on there and you choose one or two or three <laughs> that you really like and that you, you and your bridesmaids can try. And you can make it as an event or an activity for you and your bridesmaids. And what you do is during this activity, you're making the cake together. And you're getting ideas and everybody and they know your color scheme. And, and you got your ideas, they got their ideas. And it's, it just becomes fun. Because you can start off using the ideas that you see on YouTube, but then as you're making it together, as doing this teamwork, somebody, including you, are going to come up with some other ideas for this beautiful wedding cake. And you can make something that's so original, so you and your groom, that it could be the talk of the wedding ceremony. <laughs> a good talk. We don't want it to be a bad talk. <laughs> And just, if you don't get it right the first time, just say, okay, the next time we have a, a meeting or a gathering, we're going to try it again. Because in that way, you're going to save a lot of money. It really does not cost a lot of money to buy the items to make a wedding cake. 
you know, the, the food and so forth as much as it costs somebody else to make it. So just have fun with it and, and just make something really nice and original, all right? The other option I would say is this, similar to what I said about the photographer. Go on Craigslist and see if there's any bakeries out there or even in your yellow pages that can possibly bake your cake or I'll say make your wedding cake for a very reasonable price, a price that you can afford. A lot of the money for a wedding also goes towards the plate of each guest. Some of those plates cost about $100 a plate, some even $50 a plate. And the more guests you have, guess what, the more money you're going to spend. Now, if you're doing this on a tight budget, this is what I recommend that you do. I would simply reserve a room or a huge section of one of your favorite restaurants. And a lot of times, you know, when you reserve a whole room, they're not always too expensive, but just shop around. And what you do is in that room, you can have your reception and it could be a reception with just your very close families and friends. But if it's big enough, you can invite a few more people. And then there too, a lot of times, most restaurants, they already have radio playing and you know, you don't have to pay a DJ. Or if you have a secluded room for this reception, you can simply make a playlist of songs or you and your groom can do this together. Playlists of songs, songs with line dances or other songs that you want to do. And, you know, you can have a person to announce things and get a karaoke. I mean, it is so many ways that you can do this without breaking your pocket and renting a venue that has, you know, a, a caterer and, and all of that. Now, if you got the money to do that, that's great. But again, this video is about those that's really trying to save money, but have a nice wedding ceremony and reception. And also too, if you choose a restaurant, that way people will pay for their own plate. <laughs> all right. And you can have your groomsmen to pay for your husband's plate your husband-to-be's plate, and your bridesmaids can pitch in together to pay for your plate. And since you're already saving your bridesmaids a whole lot of money by not having them to buy this expensive dress for the wedding, they will be more than happy to pitch in maybe $20 or $10 a piece for your plate at the restaurant. Well, I hope in this video I was able to help you to figure out how you can style yourself and your wedding ceremony for less money. And, and it can still be glamorous. It can still be beautiful. It can still be awesome. A little extra note for you since I do like music. If you want the wedding to be classy still, what you can do is instead of um, hiring an orchestra or a band or a musician to play at your wedding, you can have all of this music on, on a CD ahead of time or some type of playlist or on your iTunes or whatever, on your iPhone, however you want to do this. And you can just have somebody in your family or a close friend to be the one to push play when it's time to play the particular tracks that you want played at your wedding ceremony. And that person can also be responsible for playing the music at the reception, all right? Now, a song that I recommend for a classy feel from coming down the aisle if you don't want the normal wedding song, I would choose Box Air, okay? It's the, the name of the piece is called Air and it is written by the great composer Johann Sebastian Bach. And that is such a beautiful classic piece to come down the aisle to. Or you can have a personal song, a song that really touches your groom's heart, your groom-to-be's heart. Or it could be a song that your groom choose to touch your heart. And you all can just coordinate that together. You don't have to pay a musician to play at your way. So that, that was my little bonus about the music at the ceremony. And I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know. Please subscribe to this channel to figure out other ways to save money and still look beautiful on a budget. <laughs> And also be sure to share this video with others that you think are about to tie that knot, but their pockets are not. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope this was helpful to you. Be sure to click like on this video as well. And again, subscribe to my channel for more great videos on how to look great on a budget. 
You guys be blessed.